Hey witches. So it looks like the scientists are catching up with us. They're learning about the brain more and people are using this for manifestation and also healing and all that good stuff. But they're starting to catch up with us, guys. So I urge you to take 30 minutes out of, you know, out of your time and watch some YouTube videos or just do some Google searches. You don't have to buy a book or anything. You don't have to buy this magazine. This isn't an ad for the magazine or anything. I just saw it in the store and it made me think of this. But take that time and research how the brain works. Because when you can understand how the different parts work together, how you can make them work together, it really will help speed up your manifestations, but also it will help you achieve mental health, harmony, homeostasis, and all these beautiful things. And a lot of that can be achieved through meditation, of course, but check it out. Look up your subconscious, your unconscious, your conscious, your RAS. Maybe even look into the different parts of the brain and how they work, how your information is transmitted by those neurotransmitters and how they're affected by different substances. Like if you smoke, you know, or if you drink a lot or if you have to take prescriptions or if you do certain drugs and see how they affect those parts of the brain because that could also slow your manifestations down. You have to be you know, working 100%. And they say we only use 2% of our brains, and that is bullshit, and they're figuring that out now. And I think as witches, we are already able to access way more of our brain than that, and by learning more about the brain, you'll be able to access even more and use even more. So it's kind of not 2%. It's different for everybody. So try to see how much you can use and also something really important for your body in general but especially the brain is to stay hydrated look up how much you weigh your age you know group or whatever and find out exactly how much water you need every day and then maybe add just a little to that you can do any kind of water alkaline water is really good to do and of course we love our moon water and I would encourage you to make some moon water under this um, dark moon coming up new moon whatever you want to call it but do that because there's so much going on astrologically right now that this is this would be a good time to make that to kind of you know clear yourself and rid yourself of of any blockages that you need to do but it's a great opportunity right now this time for manifestation because of what's going on with, I may even do a video about it. I'm not that astrological, but I'm not illiterate about that. But I may make a video to explain why, but it is a very good time to manifest right now. And water relates with manifestation in other ways, but I'm talking about using it for the mundane purpose of hydrating your body. And then if you wanted to add in some of that water that you put under the dark moon to make, you know, you could even do it right then at the day after the dark moon where it's technically a new moon where it's starting and you're seeing Diana's bow, even to maybe charge it then if you want for a new beginning to kind of, you know, set that manifestation, kind of plant that seed and then work on it all month. It is a good time to start manifestations around, you know, that time. But you don't have to. It doesn't really matter. That's another thing that I teach in my course. And it's in my book. It, it doesn't matter. Um, and I wanted to tell you also, be careful about your sleep. And I'm the worst person to be talking about this. It's 7, 10 a.m. And I haven't been to sleep yet. I even took sleep aids, and I'm still wired up. I don't even drink coffee. <laughs> so, yeah. But no, I'm not on cocaine either. It's just me. I think it's the energy going on in the solar system. I've had a hard time sleeping all week. But anyway, you need to have 
a minimum of seven hours. You really should shoot for eight because when your brain is not being able to replenish itself at night and you also can receive messages, you know, you can do subliminals during this time, listen to certain frequencies while you're asleep. Even, you can even do hypnosis while you're asleep. But when you're sleeping, your subconscious is completely open to anything. And it's good to have that time to, you know, for your brain to regenerate, to rest, and then for, for your subconscious to have that opportunity to be so open to whatever you're putting in it. So try to get that sleep and it just makes sure that your brain is able to be legs are focused, strong, and your energy is, is your energy is stronger and it's just it's good to get that sleep. So lots of water, lots of sleep. If you are an insomniac like me, try to find, you know, not a prescription sleep aid because those are addictive and bad, but try maybe some melatonin, you know, turn off all your screens and just go into a meditation and that may help you fall asleep. But during certain times of the month, if you're like me and highly influenced by what's going on up there, you know, sometimes you you won't get that sleep. But that doesn't mean that you can't manifest and that you're not magic. It just means that you're connected and you're being affected. And that's totally fine, too. Just stay positive. Stay happy. Don't get cranky because you haven't had any sleep, you know. And if you need to, take naps. It's also a good thing to do because then when you wake up from that nap, you're in theta, so you could do a visualization right then, or do some affirmations, or do some scripting, you want to do things in theta, and while we're talking about theta, everybody thinks theta can only occur when you are, you know, falling asleep, waking up, but that's not true, think about maybe your drive to work, Are you consciously thinking about what turn you need to make next? You know, where the stop signs are, wondering if there's a stop sign here or a red light here. No, you're just going. You get in your car, you listen to your music or your podcast or whatever you're doing, and then you're there. And of course, you know, you're looking out for cars and things and not just running off the side of the road, but you're basically on autopilot. You're just doing doing things on autopilot, like pure muscle memory. So... You can use these times also. Now, I'm not telling you to go into a guided meditation while driving. No, don't do that. Don't do that. That's stupid. I'm saying that during these times while you're on autopilot, you know, maybe just think about your desire, you know, with your eyes open. You know, just think about it or even speak out loud to the universe. Universe, it's me again. I just want you to know that I expect wonderful occurrences or wonderful things to happen to me today in addition to an extra $10,000 coming into my bank account this month. Something like that. You know, you you just, just talk to the universe. Don't ask the universe for anything. You tell the universe what you expect. And that's after you've done, you know, your visualizations and planted all those seeds. And you can start telling the universe, hey, me again. Don't forget, I expect this and that. In addition to this, you know, just tack them on to that. And you can do that. There's even a whisper technique that you can use. But it's all because you are, you're you're sending out energy. Your voice carries vibrations just like your thoughts so you can do that while on while doing things like driving, even working out, which working out is kind of, it's not really a theta, but maybe if you were taking like a, a, you know, a leisurely walk, that might get you, you know, that might be a good, t- good time to do it. But just things you do on autopilot, like if you cook all the time or you're doing something that you just, know how to do and you do it constantly take advantage of that because you're in theta 
you're in theta and people think it's it can only happen during these times but recently they found out that people go into theta when they're doing things and not having to think about doing them because you're sort of doing them subconsciously like breathing your heart beating you know your body's doing all this stuff that's unconscious you're not even aware of it you're not making it happen saying okay heart beat okay beat again you're not doing that it's just it's just doing it itself and you can train your brain to manifest on autopilot while you're on autopilot so that's kind of cool but they're just learning all this stuff about the brain and it's so funny to me how everything is becoming so normalized and if you had said that you could bend reality or manifest something during the Salem witch trials they would have set you on fire but now you see little 13 year old girls and making tiktok videos about manifestation so it's just it's a trip to me and they're so popular and every manifestation guru is so popular and they all say the same exact things taking them from neville goddard and it's just stuff that we have known all along all he did to make it palatable for the masses is connecting it to the bible which we do not do in the craft. I hope you don't. If you, if you, if you, if that helps you in any way, good. But I doubt most of you do that. But that's what he did so that it became normalized and acceptable. And there are a couple of gurus that will still, you know, say God this, God that during their processes. And I feel like they're they want to say maybe universe or spirit or the source but they you know they're just so stuck in their ways but anyway back to the brain learn about it use it stay hydrated and also doing things that can improve blood circulation will help limiting things like caffeine and nicotine i do vape it's a bad habit but the stress i've been going through since I lost my mom and a few things before that, I don't really care right now. I'm going to quit eventually, probably by the end of the year. But right now, I do that and I shouldn't be because it does constrict blood flow. But be careful of those things, especially if you smoke cigarettes, guys. I'm not saying vaping is any better, but cigarettes killed my mother. So, and my husband's mother pretty much. So, please, please, if you smoke, try vaping or nick nicotine gum or switch to weed switch to just smoking weed <laughs> at most in most states you can get cbd flour legally or the real stuff legally in most states you can now because of my state i can go in the vape shop and buy a little cylindrical container of stuff to put in my bowl and smoke so can you so try that you know if you need to and then the nicotine gum I know a lot of it's oral fixation. I smoked for like 20 years and I quit cold turkey. I just told myself, we're not, we're not, you're not, I'm not a smoker anymore. We're not going to do this. And I quit like that. It was, it was really weird, but it wasn't hard for me. And I've had friends and my mother try to quit and it was just impossible for them. So I understand and I have had things that were way harder to quit, way harder to quit. So if you have addictions, I do have a video I'll link below that talks about how to banish them using witchcraft. And it's really good because it does kind of involve Hecate because you're using the crossroads just to do the spell. So if you work with her doing the, the ritual that I'm going to link below will really help and you can call her. You know, you can evoke her, and if you're close enough with her, you can invoke her, and then do this, but be careful, because during, during the, the spell slash ritual, you do have to drive, unless you're going to walk to a crossroads, because you don't want to do, do one with a stick in your back, your backyard, like you can do at Dip Nine sometimes, you want to go away, f further from your house, at least a block. So be careful if you're doing that while you have invoked the goddess because her energy is very strong and driving under that influence would be a little dangerous. So just keep that in mind. You could evoke her and then just ask her 
to help you with it and guide you through and support you after and then thank and release her or meditate with her before you start however you see fit just if you're going to fully invoke her for that which would be mo the most effective be careful when you drive okay <laughs> be careful when you drive so I think that's it I think that's all um you know the brain every thought every thought that you have in your brain good or bad is going to attract something good or bad so think positive thoughts happy thoughts if you get stressed about something i think i've mentioned this before and this is this does go back to brain and the body but when you are experiencing events that are stressful your body floods with adrenaline and the worst one cortisol cortisol you do not want it can make you gain weight it is just bad the main reason it's bad is because it makes you feel feelings that are on some of the lowest vibrations and that only really floods your system for about two minutes maybe three and then after that it should go away so you should be especially if you're hydrated because you know you can flush that out with that water it really helps with everything water is great i need to drink more water myself but after you've processed that emotion whatever it is say you have an argument with someone an argument with anyone and you get stressed out at the end of the argument and you just reflect for a minute feel the feelings maybe even journal about it and then let it go because it's in the past and then try to raise your vibes by focusing on something good think of a happy memory look at something happy do something that makes you happy but do it quick because you don't want to sit in that in that low vibrational state for long and have negative thoughts because those negative thoughts snowball and then you start to attract all types of negative things so don't do that change it to a positive and then milk that positive feeling for as long as you can and if you can't get happy on your own you can watch YouTube videos, just type in Raise Your Vibrations, and there's there's really good music that's already done, really good videos that are, that are out there. There's even some, like, acupuncture techniques that you can use on your fingers, all kinds of cool stuff. So if you need to raise your vibes, you can, and I may do a little video about that too, but just remember, your brain is powerful, which you know that because you're a witch, but make it more powerful learn about it because when you can see the evidence and the way our brain works is it wants to see evidence when you can see evidence of what you're doing is working it just helps your brain to reiterate to itself okay this is right we're doing everything right okay this is what's coming this is our reality don't let it be affected by negative people toxic people if you have those people in your life, cut them out. If they're your family members and you can't get them to improve their vibrations, just stay away from them as much as you can. Limit contact. You can't cut your family off. You don't want to, especially if it's a parent. Trust me, don't do that shit. You will, you will be, you will hate yourself for the rest of your life if you do that. Don't do that. But you do need to limit that that contact and those interactions because they're going to put negativity into your head and then that's going to create more and more and more and more so don't do that stay around happy positive people that's why I love to be around my I love to be around everybody in my family but my sister's vibes are her her freaking vibrations are so high that I cannot be upset around her you know, yeah, we cried about about our mom and everything, but she's just toxic positivity. It is wonderful. I even told her the other day, I said, go buy some, some Mega Millions tickets because it's over a billion dollars right now. It's the biggest one in history. And I told her, buy some tickets, even though, you know, 
I'm getting them too. Get yourself some tickets because you're you're ready to you're ready to manifest anything, you know, with your positivity. So she might even take my money. <laughs> That's okay, cause I, that'd be just fine with me. But anyway, guys, get your brains right. Get your bodies healthy. If you're eating a bunch of crap, stop. Do a detox. Maybe even consider fasting. And certain zodiac signs, I was reading earlier, I, I will do a video about this because it's interesting about fasting, but I'll, I'll do a video on that and then link it, but just get yourself nice and clean, you know, on the inside, and remember to stay spiritually clean, practice spiritual hygiene, you need to cleanse yourself when you come home, you can do, you know, some salt water, you can do sage, palo santo, cedar, you know, you could use whatever incense that you like but if you feel like you're just bombarded with with toxic energy come home and sage the shit out of yourself and then take a salt water shower then when you get out maybe put some like maybe some patchouli incense you know and fill yourself with that you know that love from the patchouli and the abundance and, and all that and that'll get you right and listen to some positive beats and maybe even do a meditation there's there's a lot you can do to practice you know to make sure your spiritual hygiene is on point because when you're trying to manifest something using your brain you don't want other people's crap affecting you because it's not about them it's about you so cut off who you need to cut off take care of yourself physically and mentally and keep on manifesting whatever it is. And if you're interested in my help, I will link the video below about the services that I offer. I think I have one or two spots left in each course that I have. And I look forward to it. We start next week, right after I get back from vacation. So I'm so excited. And that's all I have, guys. If you're playing the lottery, good luck to you. Blessed be.